past several years, I have been using the ELO rating system in order to keep track and keep rankings of all the movies that I have watched. Using the power of mathematics, every single time I watch a new movie, I can have it play a couple of ranked matches in order to see where it falls on my ranking list. And I'm also constantly having new ranked matches play so we can, again, mathematically refresh our list and make sure that it stays up to date. But since I have so much data, almost 400 movies, an interesting question that we can ask is, statistically, based on my criteria, have movies gotten worse over time? Now, what movie is better is subjective and completely up to interpretation. So the criteria that I use is which of the two movies would be more likely for me to recommend in a group movie watching setting. And performing some linear regression, we can actually see that there is a insanely weak negative correlation, which pretty much means that there's effectively no correlation. I mean, this R squared coefficient is incredibly close to zero. So from this, we can infer that movies really just haven't gotten shittier over time. They've always been as shitty or good as they've always been. But what we can see is that I've just seen a shit ton more movies here. So I will have had many, many, many more negative experiences in this region of time. So I might be more likely to believe that there have been more negative movies just because I haven't really seen that many movies from before 1980. And just in case you're wondering, this movie right here, which I consider the worst movie I've ever watched in my entire life, is the movie Step Brothers with Will Ferrell in it.